here we go, another early morning. Yeah, we're going to contact your Fry Master Fryer. Of course. Um, so we're going to pull the contactor box on the first vat. They're draining it right now. Um, as soon as they're done, I'll start. Smoked, looks burned. All right, start changing up this guy and this guy. Okay, so I took the cover off and look at that. Springs broke. Oh my god, look at. Yep, she's smoked good. Okay, we'll get the change in her. Okay, so you just go wire for wire. Three at the top. Three at the top. So I got that one in, had to nip those off and you just put them in there for the control wires. Three and three. Okay, but then this one upon further investigation, this one's fucked. So we gotta go get another. Okay, different day. 
There's a blizzard coming in today, but we're back in the snow store. So you can see the heating ones are just pitted. This latching one's fine. Heating one's pitted. Latching one's fine. It's hard to see on my camera, but it's pretty good job. Okay. Okay, so like before, he's come with this bracket. Make sure you put it on upside down on the bracket so the hole's at the top. So the contactor looks upside down. That's what they say in the uh, little thing here. And then you just go wire for wire like I've done before. So one to one, one to two, one to two, two to two. You know what I'm saying. ends don't fit in the contactor so we'll cut those off and then we'll slip the wire so then we just cut the end off and strip it Finish this one up, go to the next wire, then the next wire. the top so literally just wire for wire across the top and then it's going to match the wire that I went to on the bottom so if this one went here this one has to go here you have to use this wire with this wire if that makes sense
see these ones fit in there. Those other ones, like this, do not fit in there. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get the other contactor down in there, so uh, just kind of mark where your one to the right is so you don't mix these two up when you got them loose. So then you break off this one with the new base you only use the top one. Yeah, but I'm winning this time. <laughs> hmm? This is the contactor box of a Frymaster fryer. This is why I hate Frymaster. Right here. This box. 
They thought they were so smart putting it down in the, ooh, we're going to put it down in a little box, clear down under the front. <laughs> Keep no. it safe from the world. You guys right? can go ahead and kiss my ass. Mm -hmm. That's where that's at. Oh, I can see how that could be a pain in the butt. Well, you were a master. Yeah, I hate Master. I tried to get on the rope before it got too, <laughs> too icky. Yep, I'm doing this for higher than I'm out of here. Yeah. You know, people forget how to drive between snow events. Mm -hmm. This guy was doing Okay, so I did finish all those contactors in those contactor boxes. I just didn't get a video at the end because, well, you can see outside, it just is fantastic out. And so I'm going to get ahead home here before I get in the car wreck. Um, but yeah, that's why Fry Master sucks. Those Henny Pennies ones, you can change those contactors in like two minutes. So I don't know why they put them down in that stupid box. And they just put a bunch of stuff in the way of it too. But it's 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 not good. Good design. <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the next one.